you... Hey. Um, hi. I'm gonna do another unboxing, I guess, because, like, I got a bunch of shit that's been here probably in the background of, like, the entire X-Blades video, and I think maybe another, um, some streams and that kind of thing. So we're gonna open it now. Um, I did just get out of the shower not long ago, so we'll just, um... Yeah, that works. Solved. So not everything is from eBay this time. I also have some game store pickups that I've gotten over the last month or so. So we're going to pull some of them. And we'll start right away with Blades of Time, which hopefully I'm releasing this on the same day as my X-Blades video. Um, but I ended that with a bit about how there was no sequel. Because when I finished that game and finished the plot, I didn't think there was a sequel. I then went ahead and, um, well, <laughs> pulled up the Wikipedia page to pull up a few facts while writing the script and saw this. Um, when I was in my local game store, I was peeking in their, like, expensive case, and I saw that. And I thought, that looks an awful lot like, um like the X-Blades title, and sure enough, there it is, Blades of Time. And as you also would have seen, well, of course we've got Gaijin there once again. Also, sorry about the band-aid. Yeah. Fuck on my hand. Um, but yeah, Blades of Time, $90. I didn't really want to spend $90 on a sequel to a game I didn't like all that much. And that I believe actually got worse critic reviews, which is awesome. But hey, we're going to play Blades of Time at some point. Um, next, I got Tomb Raider Underworld. Uh, the reason I picked up Tomb Raider Underworld here is, well, it was cheap. They had to buy two, get one free. This was 10 bucks. I got it for free. So I was like, whatever. I'll take a free game. Free PS3 game? I love PS3. If I can add to my PS3 collection, I will. Never actually played this. The... I'm ashamed to say the oldest Tomb Raiders I have ever played are actually the um, the new ones, like the 2013 reboot and onwards. I never touched the old Tomb Raider, so that'll be interesting. Um, next we got Cyber Siberia. Siberia, I don't know how it's supposed to be said. I know it's not spelt like the actual place, so I don't know how it's supposed to be said, but this is Siberia 3. Um, I have a weird relationship with this game. Um... I was on my Switch when I first got it back in COVID, and I was desperate for a game to play, and I didn't have a lot of money because I just bought a Switch and I was out of work because COVID. So I found this game on the Switch eShop for like $4 or something, and I tried it. It was the first game I ever played on my Switch, and uh, it kind of sucks, but, well, 12 bucks, so you know what? I gave it a try. I'm not even going to try and take that sticker off. And we'll see what it's like on PlayStation. Okay, now we got another absolute banger. Kong. No, Skull Island Rise of Kong. Not Kong Rise of Skull Island, which... Yeah, this game is terrible. Part of the reason I bought it um, is... I don't know if you've seen. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. Uh, I think it's a pretty okay video. I platinumed the Walking Dead Destinies. This is the same publisher... Or developer, I can't remember. It's It came out around the same time, and it has a link to that game. And I know it is equally terrible, if not worse. So I might give this a go for a plat at some point. Probably wasn't worth $20. But, um, you know, I've spent 20 bucks on worse things before. So don't worry, we will get into actually some interesting games. I probably shouldn't have opened with the most expensive one, Blades of Time. But, um, yeah, whoops. And we got uh, the Silent Hill HD collection, infamously bad, an infamously bad remaster of the first two Silent Hill games. This is also where my receipt is. Um, so you can see I spent $172 that day. Wow. But Silent Hill HD collection in not great shape. Uh, this case needs some cleanup. It's really got... It's like got a nasty sticker there. It's got the $30 and another sticker on the back. It's seen better days, but, uh, well, we're going to give it a try at some point. Um, I have a plan for going through, uh, some video, uh, doing some videos on the remasters of PS2 games on PS3. 
I think it's a really weird landscape, and they had some absolute banger remasters and some Silent Hill HD collections, so we're going to try that. Um, it will probably be my first time playing Silent Hill, because I've never played them before, and I might open with this, which might ruin my perspective of it, but I think that'll be more fun. Oh, you know what? I'll save that one. I'll save that one. Oh, shit. I won't, sh I won't show the shot where you can see it. There we go. I don't want to spoil it. All right, here we go. Sly Cooper. Thieves in time for the PS Vita. Um, oh, come on. Keep it. There we go. Oh, did it catch up? There we go. I caught up. Okay. Yeah, Sly Cooper Thieves in time. I have never played the Sly Cooper games. I, I am ashamed to say it. I am a recent PlayStation fan. I had a PlayStation 1 years ago. Um, I had a PS3 around when it came out. But I was always into PC games. I was too busy playing the original Battlefront 2 to pay attention to um, other games. <laughs> like, I had the, um, oh, what's it called? The, like, it was called, like, the Galactic Something pack. And it was Republic Commando, Battlefront 1, Battlefront 2 on PC. I had that. That was my life growing up. So I didn't have a chance to really do games like this. But um, we're going to be given the Sly Cooper series a try. So there's Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time, $44. Um, I don't know if that's a good deal, but I mean, I was willing to pay it, so I'm the sucker. Uh, that's the receipt for the place. Oh, yes, now we got a bit of a stack here. Let's pull that out. We got uh, the Ratchet and Clank collection. So this, once again, comes back to that PS2 on PS3 um, video I'd like to do at some point. It's really for 60 bucks. I wish it was in a bit better condition. Like, there's a little bit of chewiness at the bottom there. But the cover art was in good enough condition. I don't know if this was supposed to come with a manual, but I can pick one up if it wasn't. If it was supposed to come with one, the disc looks fine. And I can always just swap the case because it's not one of the early ones with, like, the PS3 written up here. So I'm not too worried. Those are much more common. And we will actually get to that. So... Ratchet and Clank, another PlayStation staple I haven't played. I am probably revealing just how much of a sham I am. I've played like all the PlayStation 4 PlayStation games, but nothing on the older generation, which I need to get to. But next is Back to the Future, the game. This is the uh, the Telltale game uh, from whatever year. Uh, when did this come out? 2015? Somewhere like something like that? Anyway. I've heard great things. Back to the Future, one of the greatest film trilogies of all time. Just going to put it out there. I adore Back to the Future. I I wanted to be as cool as Marty McFly growing up. Like, I I wish. I, the reason I like skateboarding and shit like that, Marty McFly. This dude. This dude. But I heard good things. I want to try this game. It was $80. So it wasn't cheap, but... Uh, I also don't know if that's like the going price. It seemed pretty fair based on eBay. When I went in there and I picked it up off the shelf for 80, the guy told me it had actually gone up in their system. You know, it's one of those game stores that bases around, you know, price charting websites and then increases and decreases based on that. He told me it had gone up and he's like, I'm just giving it to you for the 80. So I'm hoping it actually was a decent enough deal. And that was only a couple weeks ago I got it. So there it is. Um, Minecraft Story Mode, uh, The Complete Adventure. Another one that I don't know why... Like, I know why I bought it. I'm getting all the Telltale games. Like, I'm picking up all of them. Because I'd love to do a Telltale retrospective at some point. And, um... Yeah, this was the one they had in the game store. I would have done fine with just the first season. But technically, this does put them all on disc. Meaning if Telltale's servers ever go down for downloading, I will still be able to retrieve this entire glorious game. And I don't know if this is... Because it's got the episodes 1 to 8, and I think like the last three episodes are bonus or whatever. And they like include YouTubers. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look, you can see that. Hopefully none of them are terrible people. <laughs> you never know with Minecraft YouTubers. You never know. I didn't actually notice in the store, but it looks like it was probably hanging out of the bottom of the case for some time. So the cover art is not in the best condition for $60. I would have 
hope for a little better than that, but uh, I also don't care that much because it's a copy of Minecraft Story Mode. As much as I spent a lot of money on it, I will play that and then probably never touch it again. Uh, this is one of those ones where I just kind of bought it because for some reason I didn't own it already, which is Assassin's Creed Rogue, and it was in their um, dirt cheat pile, so it was like $2.50 or 5 for 10 so that was just one of those ones where I was like, you know what? It was such a weird game. I have the PS4 remaster, but it was one of those, like, after they, Ubisoft really quickly dumped PS3 for PS4 with um, Unity, but then they released a PS3 game that was only on PS3 at the same time. Like, what a weird era for Ubisoft. An incredibly stupid business decision to do that. But, um, yeah, this game didn't do well, and uh, I actually still haven't played it. So uh, this was another one of their... $2.50 games, and like, Bioshock 2 for $2.50? Yeah, I have the PS4 collection, but like, come on, how can I not take Bioshock 2 for 2 bucks? That just feels criminal to not buy that. Here's another $2.50, Battlefield 3. I think I actually own it, but if I recall correctly, my Battlefield 3 has a really fucked up cover. Um, cover art's just like, destroyed. So I got this, and it was 2 bucks. It was, I was trying to get five for ten. I'm at three, four, three. And then this was, this was a spare case. I grabbed the Beatles Rock Band because, uh, yeah, it's got the PlayStation 3 at the top here, which means it's an older style case. Uh, it's harder to have nice ones of those. So there we go. Now I've got uh, my, my Beatles Rock Band with none of the equipment to actually play it. Woo! Um, but hey, I can play a hard day's night. I like the Beatles. I'm not gonna, not gonna meme on them. Oh, here's the fifth game in that uh, two. F there we go. Continuing it, Bioshock series for two bucks each. So I bought all five of those for ten bucks. Couldn't complain, you know. And this is just a solid game to pick up, add to the collection, make the collection look a little nicer. Let's grab bag number two, and I'll get rid of this one. Here's a game I believe I actually picked up at a thrift store for like a dollar. Um, I am I go to thrift stores a lot for like clothes and just you know looking at uh, what kind of fun pickups I can find for these kind of videos. Anytime I see a game, I just grab it if I don't have it already. And I didn't have Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. I think that's what that title is. I have a lot of Tom Clancy's games. I enjoy a fair amount of them. Never touched the older Ghost Recons, but I'll give that one a try probably kind of a nothing game but that's okay now I think let me just check yes now we're getting into um, I'm just gonna really quick run through it because so I was at this game store right and I bought all the things I just showed you uh, they were expensive I spent a lot of money and I mentioned that I was grabbing the Beatles rock band as a spare case and the guy said hey you want spare cases uh, go grab as many sports games and you can just have them so um, I got some sports games for the cases. We've got NHL 15, NHL 15, NHL 15, Madden with one of the worst condition covers I have ever seen. Like, what happened? Who hurt you? I mean, you deserve it. You're Madden 11. Madden 11 again in slightly nicer condition. Madden 11 again, slightly nicer condition. Madden 09, we're getting close. We're almost at the greatness. NHL 08. No Madden 08. Now, this case is honestly, like, it needs a clean, but I don't care because it's got Madden in it. So, I don't, it doesn't matter. NHL 08 and NHL 08 again. So, those ones are the PlayStation 3 style where they have that across the top. Um, same with 09 because that was the last year they did it, 09. But anyway, yeah. Um, those were just a bunch of spare cases that they literally gave me free. So, uh, suck on that. I don't know who, too. The people who bought the games for full price, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So that is that. Um, the other thing I picked up from that game store that was actually a really unfortunate buy was you Draw and you Draw Studio Instant Artist. So this was 25 bucks with the tablet included. There's a reason I got this. Because there's a few really weird, not art games that used the UDRAW tablet. I'll get to one in a minute. 
It's supposed to be an easy plat, and I thought it'd be really funny to use a U-Draw tablet to do a Platinum Trophy. It's one of those, like, why the hell does this have games with Platinum Trophies? I can't actually do this one anymore, because they have a trophy tied to sharing to Facebook or something, and they killed that feature, so... I can't ever Platinum U-Draw Studio Instant Artist. I know, it's a heartbreak. But, I bought this, brought it home, went, okay, let's test it out. Where's the USB? So, yeah, I spent $25 on this U-Draw tablet that is completely and utterly useless to me. And I'm only mildly annoyed. Um, because I'm no longer quite as annoyed as I was when I first brought it home. I drove quite a distance to that store. And um, I haven't gotten the chance to go back with work and everything. So I just accepted that I have two U-Draw tablets now. Because... I then went on eBay and redeemed myself by buying... Redeemed? I don't really know if I redeemed. I bought another U-Draw tablet, okay? So let's um, crack this bad boy open. Come on. And let's make sure that this has a USB. Because it was supposed to. That's what it said in the listing. This one's gonna have our USB, I swear, guys. Okay, it's a little crusty. And we actually got two games with it. So, hey, um, anybody wants a second copy of You Draw Instant Studio Artist? You Draw Studio Instant Artist? Anybody needs a copy of You Draw Studio, uh, hit me up. Um, I'll send it to you uh, if you pay for shipping. Or if one of my friends watching this wants it, you know, Adrian, you want a copy of uh, You Draw Studio Instant Artist? Great game. Great game. How could you not? Uh, and Pictionary Ultimate Edition, which I don't know what the non-Ultimate Edition of Pictionary is, other than having friends in real life. Like, maybe that's considered non-Ultimate, but I would think that's better than playing Pictionary with a drawing tablet that failed and killed THQ. So, I mean, THQ's back now, but, like, it killed them for a while. Let's see. Moment of truth. Oh, thank God. Okay. I didn't waste another $25. That, that would have been worth the $25 right there. I tried to find one of these alone. I tried to just buy the USB. So I was like, I don't want that tablet to go to waste. I'll just I'll buy the USB. Even if it's as much as a tablet with the USB, I'll buy it. Nope. No one was selling it. Um, unsurprisingly, there is no battery corrosion in here. See, normally, anything with batteries gets battery corrosion. But, well, I guarantee no one fucking used this. So... That's why there's no battery corrosion. It was never turned on all that. I mean, it's clearly been scratched, but that's because they stored their games on top of it. That's what you do with these. So I am now the proud owner of two U-Draw tablets with two copies of U-Draw Studio Instant Artist. If anybody out there watching this has a U-Draw Studio tablet thing USB and you want the rest of the tablet, I, I'm, I'm your gal. I got it. Okay, let's actually open games now. Because <laughs> that was a bunch of pulling out of bags, which doesn't really count as an unboxing, but I'll call it one. Um, ooh, I don't really... I'm going to bitch about this packaging uh, because some people got mad at me in the last one for bitching about this type of packaging. And you know what, man? Have you never bought a game online on eBay and had it get shattered in shipping because it was packed like this? Like, especially when I pay for shipping. When it's free shipping, I almost forgive it. But when I pay like five, six, seven dollars for shipping, and you can't even bother to put it in a bubble envelope, um, fuck you, you know? I'm not going to show their business card because I'm sure their stuff is fine. I would appreciate better packaging than this. It just makes me sad. But we have DreamWorks Puss in Boots. This is, um... Probably disappointing to people who came here for good games, but I'm going to end it with a good one. I started with a good one, I'm going to end it with a good one. Um, this is just another one of those THQ... Actually, I have a lot of THQ games in the stack. I'm just realizing a lot of THQ today, but one of those like licensed movie kids games. But I, I kind of love Puss in Boots after the newest movie, and I really wish they would make a Puss in Boots Last Wish game, because I would fuck with that. But for now, I'll have to settle for Puss in Boots from... Was this 2011? 2012? 
Uh, 20 left. Cool. I'll settle for that. Good movie, though. First one was good. Um, that egg dude reminded me of an ex-friend of mine. And I'm like, that's kind of uncomfortable. He was he was a little bit like that dude. Kind of shaped like him, too. And now, um, let me open this. I don't know which game this is. Oop, don't want to stab my Scarlet and Violets. Go baby boots. Madagascar Carts. Ooh. I didn't realize the cover was a little fucked up, but that's ah, not bad. Just a little warped, but not like liquid damaged. I hate when that happens. It's how, how do you spill stuff on your games? What are you doing? But um, Madagascar Carts, another one of those terrible licensed games. Uh, I have DreamWorks Carts, not the new one. I think it's. I think they made a new one. I think actually the same guys who did the Kong game, and the Walking Dead Destinies did another. Um, of these DreamWorks Carts games. But I picked up DreamWorks Madagascar Carts because it's supposed to be an easy plat, and I think it would be really fun to do um, the definitely only drinking water drinking game with Mario Kart, except use Madagascar Carts instead while trying to platinum it. That would be fun. Um, root Beerio Carts, if you will, um, but, but Madagascar Carts instead of an actual good game. I uh, will do this one. And um, I'll switch it in the middle of playing the game, and then no one will notice that we suddenly went from Mario Kart to Madagascar Kart. So they'll never know what's coming. I'm doing something on St. Patty's Day? Maybe I'll record some nonsense from that if we play this game. Might be fun. Uh, this one was annoying, though, because I was searching for it forever, and it was like $30 on eBay, and I'm like, I don't want to spend $30 on this. Then I saw it pop up for $12 and bought it. But when I was at the game store where I bought Blades of Time, I saw one for 10 in better condition than this. But I had already ordered this, so... Womp womp. I have Madagascar cards. Okay, I'll save this one, because that one's also going to be an actual good game. Uh, actually, this one's got a spoiler. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> that is also a good game. Well, I mean, I haven't played it yet, but... Uh, see, look at this. FedEx envelope. All of these ones are packed well, except Puss in Boots. Thankfully, Puss in Boots made it here safely. Oh my god. It's really hard to get open, though, without cutting the game. Okay. I need to sharpen my knife. Probably should do that. Okay. We're in. Let's see. Fresh and Clank. Full Frontal Assault. I I'm assuming that uh, downloadable version for Vita probably doesn't work anymore. Gonna, gonna hazard a guess. But, um... Fresh and Clank Full Frontal Assault. Let's see, is there still a code? Oh my goodness, that is a manual and a half. See, I miss this. I miss, I miss a full color, artsy, beautiful manual. Um, with no code, so I can't even try the code. So no Vita version for me. But that's okay. Anyway, we have it. Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault. I don't actually think they released a Vita physical, so if I ever wanted to play it on Vita, I would have to buy it. Though I assume it's going to have a cross trophy list, and there's no reason to buy a second one. This is supposed to be a relatively quick plat. Uh, as you can see, have sort of a trend here, picking up the PS3 collection, picking up the... the. I don't know if this was the last PS3 one they did. I mean, it's later PS3, but I don't know. I honestly don't know. I need to know more about the Ratchet and Clank series, but uh, I'm sure I'll put it up here, whether or not I was wrong. Well, the fact that I was wrong, because I almost certainly was. There we go. Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault. Let's do our second last game here from Fangamer. This is actually a new one, so of course they ship it pretty okay. Fangamer's pretty solid. Um, I like the unlike limited run games, they don't make me pay for better packaging. I mean, limited run games packaging isn't terrible, but the fact that they have like an upgrade to ship it better is a little like just, just ship it well enough. Like, I don't know why that's uh, something I need to pay extra for. But whatever. Anyway, here we go. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Finally got Undertale. Unfortunately, I missed out my chance last time they... I don't remember how long ago it was. Probably like a year, year and a half. The last time they sold the Vita version. 
uh, I went there and I added it to my cart and I went to pay and it was out of stock by the time I went to pay. It was after a YouTuber had posted a video and said that it was still in stock, so I got excited and I missed it. But we finally have uh, Undertale for PS4. I will be playing and platting this game at some point as well. It's supposed to be a pretty fun plat and a good game, so it's going to look good on the shelf. Add to it. Um, would have been a much better plat for you than Unturned was, but uh, anyway, last game. Sly Cooper Collection. So yeah, we finished off the collection. Uh, I did the same thing I did with Ratchet and Clank with the new, the other one. I did the same thing with Sly Cooper. I bought the collection on Vita. I already own it on PS3. Actually, I think I might have had that in the last video. Or I bought it off of any unboxing video. But Sly Cooper HD, I have the Vita. I have the PS3. I think this one is only two of them on the... Yeah. So unfortunately, Sly 3 is not actually on the game card. Meaning if I would like to pick up Sly 3, which I would, I will be purchasing it separately for the Vita. I don't... not a fan of when they do this, but 2 out of 3 isn't terrible, and I get it. Vita carts didn't hold a whack load of storage. It is unfortunate, though, that it's only 2 of 3. At least it's not the Switch where they're still doing that, despite having bigger game cards and um, costing more. Well, actually, probably not more than this. Seventy-four ninety-nine for that. That is all Canadian dollars. I'm not paying out the ass in American. I'm just paying out the ass in Canadian pesos. But there we have it. Um, that was it. That was a... I was much faster this time, only 26 minutes of recording, and I have to go to work like now, so... We will do a quick wrap-up, lay out all the games here. Not shake the desk too hard. Okay, there we go. Oh no, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. I feel like this one was the, um, the remaster special, because we got a lot of collections, PS2 to PS3 collections, but there it is. There is our stack. I'm not even going to include the stupid sports games or the draw tablets, because no one cares about those. What you care about is this, especially Skull Island Rise of Kong, the greatest game of 2023. I think it came out that year. Yay. Um, Sly Cooper.